Tonight, police are, have a team of people working hard to find any more victims of a possible serial killer. He is charged with one death, but authorities expect that number to grow. News 8's Rebecca Lopez tonight live with how police are hoping to get some more answers. Rebecca? Well, the Plano Police Department has officers around the clock answering a tip line. They set up that hotline on Friday and they say they have gotten calls from people who believe that Billy Shamirmir was in fact involved in their loved one's deaths. Now, let's take a look at some video that we just got from the Dallas County Jail. It's video of Shamirmir when he's being booked in uh, last week after he was arrested. Police in both Collin and Dallas counties believe he may be responsible for the murders or attacks of several elderly women. In most cases, police say he befriends his victims by pretending to be a nurse or a maintenance worker. He then made his way into their apartments, assaulted them, and then stole their jewelry. In one of the Dallas cases, police say he suffocated his victim with a pillow and stole her jewelry. He, had been he has been charged with capital murder. Plano and Frisco police say he robbed victims in their cities and also tried to suffocate them with pillows. North Texas police departments are reviewing hundreds of cases where elderly women died of an unexplained death or natural causes. They want families who may have had contact with Shamir Mir to come forward so they can determine if he was involved in their cases. You know, even if those cases are solid enough for conviction, uh, we do not want to leave any victims out there. We want to be able to bring justice and closure uh, and give them some peace for their families to, to determine exactly why their loved one passed away. Now, Plano police have five officers manning that hotline. The, these are pictures that they provided for us today. They encourage people to come forward. They say they have not gotten as many calls as they were expecting and believe that there are many more victims that have not come forward. So again, they want to know. Back to you guys. But before you go, Rebecca, we've all been curious about this. How did this guy fly under the radar for so long and, and nobody noticed? Well, police say it's because his victims were elderly, so most people thought that maybe their loved ones died of natural causes and they didn't have autopsies. But he has been around since 2010, and in some cases, police tell me they may have to exhume bodies mm. to see if, in fact, they can get enough evidence. But some of that physical evidence may be gone. In some, in some cases, they may never know. Back to you, John. All right, thanks a lot. Rebecca Lopez reporting a frightening case, and I thank you, Rebecca. Again, police will be working on this case for many months and uh, weeks to come. If you have information you think that investigators need to hear, the hotline number is now on the bottom of your screen. And, of course, we will continue to follow this case on, or, on air and online at WFAA.com.